Today we'll be making a quick video showcasing a Sylvania stereo that I got today at an estate sale. I got it for only ten dollars and what came with it for the only ten dollars I got a bunch of Maxell XL2 tapes, 90 minute more chrome tapes. Finally again I've got chrome tapes and a slimline Panasonic cassette recorder with no battery cover. But the stereo is very nice. I think this is a genuine U US machine, United States stereo. There's the back the part on the back says printed on USA and I I don't see any anywhere of it saying made in Japan, so so far I think this is actually a US made machine. And the only thing I had to do was spray these controls because they were really staticky when you'd move them and they had to kind of jiggle it to get the sound to come through properly but I sprayed them in WD-40 and they run smoothly now so this is a radio operation too I got this wall sack reader reel on top and I have it hooked up to these Morse speakers I've already had these I've already had these Morse speakers and these this reel to reel but but this is pretty cool. The treble maze controls. Already, at this flat, flat sound already sounds pretty good. But that's at the bass up. It's very nice. Balance. AFC. But now here's a very interesting part. Look at the tuner. Look at the style on the um, the tuner dial there. Look at that. Um, you notice anything odd about it? Looks like only part of it's lit up. Is it burned out light bulbs only allowing that area to light up? No. Why is that part lit up and that part black and you don't even see a pointer? There's the meter to show signal strength. But why is part of the dial blacked out? Well look at the way the tuning dial is. Isn't the common pointer. This is an interesting design they did. Yep. You turn to the left and it will actually black out the dial that's as far as you can go to right there. And you tune there. And that's pretty neat. It is FM stereo. I got AM. Amazing thing. And so we, I, I didn't realize it at the time, but we got. A lot of times you're really, it's really hard to it's very nice stereo. where you're at as a team when you're playing against one. There's a way the selector buttons are. Here's a power switch. And then you got you know, tape, phono, stereo. That's just switching between stereo and mono. If it just switches out, it'll play in mono. Switch that stereo, AM, FM, AFC. And then the speaker system. You can use up to two speaker systems in main, both the other set of speakers, or turn that so it's just on the headphone. And of course, it's got the tuning dial, which is a style like you see on a lot of the old Marantz receivers. And of course, it has tape in and out because I'm able to record off the radio with this reel to reel and play it back through the stereo when using this other deck. I moved the reel to reel back some so you can see the nice wood. It's a neat looking wood style they have on the top of the cabinet. Look at that. I forgot what it's called, but all swirly and stuff and it's it's genuine wood I think very nice looks very nice I have I don't think I've had any receivers that had this style of wood to it before now let's take a look at the back side of the receiver I'm kinda of tight on space over here but as we can see um, there's the the muting FM radio and of course it has magnetic 
input is a line output. Excuse the other speakers. The main speakers, and then there's an AC plug where you can. That's why I got the wall and sack reader reader plugged in. There's even a circuit breaker. Instead of using a fuse, it uses a circuit breaker. I think it's pretty cool. So look at this thing here. The Sylvania GTE. And there. Printed in USA. If you look inside, you can see it's a little bit inside. And it's pretty neat looking inside there. Um, I'd like to take a look inside, but I cannot find the screwdriver for this kind of screw right now. I've got a whole socket set somewhere, but it's lost, and I can't find it anymore. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video presentation of the Sylvania stereo system. It's very nice indeed. Here's a full-fledged view of my little setup, which is only temporary. Uh,